Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today's project is going to be a sinew wrap pullover hoodie, and we're using the beautiful color Strawberry Skies. I did tie this project up off camera, but I do have a standalone video where I show just how to tie up my geodes, and then I have many other videos where I do geotype projects. So I recommend that you go and check those out. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to get everything contained so it'll fit down in my container for dyeing. I'm just gonna simply secure it by using one of my favorite rubber bands in the color purple. And I have a link down below in the description box for these rubber bands and everything that I use for tie dye. So check that out. The next step is to get it ready for dyeing. So you need to set up your system. I'm using a cooling rack for cookies. I think that's what this is for. And then I'm using vertical blinds as my ice barrier. And I got these from Amazon and I will put a link down below in the description box. They're just taller than the silicone cake molds. They're only good for round projects though. They don't really bend around corners and stuff like that. Now I'm going to be doing the dye over ice method for this. So I'm adding my commercial ice machine ice, and then I'm going to sprinkle on my dye using my funnel scoop that I got from Jen and John over at www.shopboredemwithjen.com. She has all of your tie dye tool needs, so go and check her out. Now this dye that I'm using is from Happy Cat Tie Dye, Amanda Angel. And this is the color Strawberry Skies, and it's absolutely fantastic. So there is a link down below for Amanda's website. So definitely check her out and place your order. Hoodies are really thick. And because this is a geode wrap or a sinew wrap, it's tied very, very tightly. So saturation can be an issue. So I did the first layer of ice and then dye to get down in there. And then I'm adding the second layer of ice to help the dye move around a little bit. And just for backup, a thin little layer of dye just to get the colors flowing. I give the project a quick little sprinkle of soda ash for good measure and I set it aside so the layers of ice can melt. And then I come back and I check it and it looks really well saturated but I would like more saturation just because it's so thick and tied so tightly. I don't wanna open it up and have a whole bunch of white inside. So I just flip it over and repeat the process. It's recommended that you let your project batch at 70 degrees or higher for at least 24 hours after the ice melts. 
and I let this project batch for the full 48 hours. I'm glad that I flipped this project over because I feel like I have good saturation on both the top and the bottom. For the rinse out, I like to start by using cold water that's going to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the fabric and then I increase my water up too hot and it rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here I take it to the washing machine and I do hot water cycles using Kirillon, which is a professional textile detergent. And then I do a final hot water cycle using Millsoft, and Millsoft is a professional fabric softener. Then I'll put it in the dryer, and in most cases I iron it, but this being a hoodie, it didn't need it. Then I photograph it, and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Well, here it is guys here's our sinew wrap pullover hoodie after it's been washed and dried and I think it turned out fantastic like I said I'm really glad that I flipped it over because I got really good saturation I just love this color from project to project they never turn out exactly the same so it's very exciting because you don't really know exactly what you're going to get this particular project turned out really strong with the magenta and the splits are more into the turquoise and the green, which I love. I love purple and green together, and this is really good. And then there's just little hints of gold here and there. And I love it when sometimes a dye will creep up underneath that sinew. In some areas, it's this beautiful pink color, and in other areas, it's turquoise. So I'm not mad at this at all. Now this is a buffalo hoodie from Costco, and right now you can't get them. And if you can get them, snatch them up. Uh, but come winter time, Costco will have them. And they do really good sales on them. So if you find an opportunity to buy the buffalo hoodie, I definitely recommend it. So overall, I'm very pleased with the way this hoodie turned out. So what do you guys think? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all. That way you get notified of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing!